Hey guys, welcome back! As you know, there were a few games on the PlayStation 2 that offered 480p resolution. I'm talking about the Pole region, obviously, because, as you know, I live in Portugal. On the latest count, there are 179 games that can output to 480p, but only 52 of those are for the Pole region. You can check the full list by clicking on the link down in the description below. Progressive scan is achieved by using a components cable and is way better than interlaced scan. It produces less flickering because the lines are drawn in sequence, so in consequence it's better for the eyes. There are three main methods that developers implemented in-game to turn progressive scan on. By suggesting it at the startup, through the game's menu and by holding a combination of buttons on the DualShock while booting. So let's take a look at a few that I have in my collection. Resident Evil 4. In Resident Evil 4 we have to hold cross and triangle at booting so that progressive scan can be enabled. And I can tell the difference right away. This is still my favorite Resident Evil game from the series when talking about the original releases. I'm yet to try the remakes of the first two games. I've never really enjoyed those two back in the good old days of the original PlayStation, mainly because I simply hated the tank controls, so disorienting. And because of that, I completely skipped the third game in the series and even the 2002 remake of the first game for the GameCube that was later remastered for the current gen systems. Many of you will crucify me for that, <laughs> I'm sure, but Resident Evil 4 brought a new gameplay mechanics that was what I was really looking forward to since the beginning. An amazing game and one of my favorites on the system. True Crime New York City True Crime New York City isn't that bad. It tried to be a Grand Theft Auto clone, but with a new approach. The progressive scan can be accessed through the game's menu and it really brings this game to a whole new level, because the image tends to be really dark and obscure. We play the role of Marcus Reed, a former gang member turned into a cop, and this was supposed to be the first part of a series of games set in New York City. But because of its huge commercial failure, its sequel was cancelled. Later the true crime franchise was again picked up and a game set in Hong Kong was being developed, but two years later was also dropped. The publishing rights were then sold to Square Enix and True Crime Hong Kong was released as Sleeping Dogs, but without any connection to the True Crime series. As a reminder, the very first True Crime game, known as True Crime Streets of LA, also offers 480p. I only have the Xbox version of that one, so I can't show you any footage of Streets of LA running on the PlayStation 2. Primal. Primal is a PlayStation 2 exclusive game developed by SCU Studio Cambridge that brought us the medieval series back in the glory days of the original PlayStation. The option of running Primal in progressive scan mode is offered while booting and it really looks sharp and clean with that mode enabled. Back in 2016 was re-released for the PlayStation 4 through the PlayStation Network with slightly improved graphics and trophy support. In Primal we play as Jen or as Scree, the gargoyle. Jen's boyfriend was attacked during a live concert by this weird creature. Then the creature runs off with him, leaving the main protagonist badly injured. Scree the gargoyle tells her that she must leave the physical plane Mortalis and accompany him to the demon plane known as Oblivion. During gameplay we can change between Jen and Scree cause both have their unique strengths and skills. God. Tomb Raider Anniversary 
I absolutely love the Tomb Raider franchise and Tomb Raider Anniversary, along with Legend, was the rebirth of the series, after that awful Angel of Darkness thing that almost killed Lara. Crystal Dynamics came to the rescue with Tomb Raider Legend in 2006 and in 2007 with this incredible remake of the original game from 1996 and besides offering progressive scan resolution, the PlayStation 2 release could also be purchased as a special and European exclusive collector's edition offering more stuff besides the game, like a documentary promotional material and a CD with music not only from Anniversary but also from Legend. It was highly praised upon release, but in contrast sold really poorly. It was even pointed as the worst selling game in the entire franchise. However, its gameplay and levels were rebuilt, the narrative was expanded by Toby Gard himself that, as you know, was the one that created Lara and her own attributes in the first place. The original soundtrack was remade and revamped using an orchestral style, so this is a must-have and a must-play title. Shadow of the Colossus. This is such a beautiful and unique game. It received its first remaster back in the glory days of the PlayStation 3. Uh, if there were any. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love my PS3, and it was when I played Shadow of the Colossus and Ico with stereoscopic 3D. And let me tell you that it's a freaking awesome experience. Well, I've already told you that on my video dedicated to 3D compatible games, not only for the PS3, but also for the Xbox 360. Check it out if you missed it. Crap. But back to its original PlayStation 2 release in 2005-2006 here in Europe, it was possible to be enjoyed with progressive scan enabled. But let's face it, few were the ones that had the chance to enjoy this one and all others included in this video with 480p resolution. TVs that supported component in and even the component cables themselves were nowhere to be seen. So I only started to fully enjoy these games around 2013, right when the console was discontinued and when the PlayStation 4 was a couple of months away from its debut. Even so, I was completely overwhelmed with its graphical beauty, pushing the hardware of a PlayStation 2 to its limits. To enable progressive scan, just go to the game's own menu. As simple as that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast. And to conclude, one of the most amazing games on the system, Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast. And with progressive scan, it's absolutely stunning, offering frenetic gameplay and vibrant colors, something quite uncommon, because as you know, the system's palette tends to be a tad darker. Sumo Digital used the same formula applied to their Xbox conversion of OutRun 2 a year earlier, improving and expanding it to a whole new level. Again, the progressive scan mode is offered while booting, and in this one, new game modes and cars are available, turning Coast to Coast into the most complete package in the whole OutRun series. And the best one, too! There's no realistic physics and damage, only pure and insanely fast fun. And besides driving these beautiful and licensed Ferraris, we have to impress not just one, but several different girlfriends. Oh yeah! But again, the progressive mode in this one is really something to behold. What a beautiful, beautiful game! Here's 
So guys, wanna see more PlayStation 2 Paul games that supports 480p? Leave a comment down below and I'll surely get back to this subject in one of my future uploads. And to keep up to date of my latest videos, don't forget to click on that bell icon. That way you'll be notified when a new one is available. But for that, you must be subscribed to the channel to be able to activate all notifications. Also, and if you really enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and to share it across the multitude of social media out there. It will help tremendously. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in my next video. Cheers!